Hello everybody, today we're going to get a first look at Dredge. Um, I've always been into fishing, so fishing games are always cool to me and this puts a new spin on it, so let's check it out. Fire it up. Well, looks like a little tugboat. Job listing, angler wanted. I do kind of like this art style. I've always been a bit of a fan of it. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Morrow, I must say. Quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? I was shining right. It was shining right at you. Ah, oh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay, so we are going to undock. Zippity zoppity, what's this? Should we go over it? Oh, we can fish here. Fish. Okay, I don't really know what we're doing here. Uh, square? We're just going to hit square to start fishing. Or square the right time to reel faster. Blue mackerel. Species data added to encyclopedia. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna place it somewhere. I guess that's our inventory, kind of like a puzzle. Try and keep everything. Let's try a different spot. Okay, so basically all these bubbling spots are spots you can fish. Fish. Start fishing. So when you hit the circles, it reels in faster. So I think you can not hit those areas on there and it'll still reel in. We'll try that next. Okay, so that's like in a little... So we can go like that. Boom. Cut ourselves a cod. So let's see what happens if we don't hit in any of these green spots. It just goes slower, and time ticks faster. So yeah, you're definitely gonna... Oh, and if you miss it, it goes backwards. Okay. Okay. Wait. Pick up. Boom. Disturbed water, this spot has been depleted. Okay. So we're filled up with cod now. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Okay, that's kind of cool. Triangle, what's triangle do? Oh, triangle brings up our boat. Cabin, pursuits. Messages, encyclopedia, pursuits. Catch fish for the day. Okay, so that's kind of like your journal or your, or your quest log. And then encyclopedia is showing you all the different uh, fish and where you've caught them and all that kind of stuff all right all right cool 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 um i don't know what time we have to go home by this is before the fog rolls in fish it up
Whoops, that's not where I want to place it right there. Okay, so do I start going home now? It's 1700 hours, which is 5 p.m. I feel like we just go home now. You know what I mean? Let's not let's not push our luck the first night out. X to dock. I am playing on PS5, by the way. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before we head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. This guy seems shysty. You know what I'm saying? Like, he seems like a bit of a loan shark. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Where do I sell the fish? Off you go, then. Sell those fishes while they're still fresh. So I guess we... Okay, so we don't really move around. We just kind of click menus. So we'll go to the fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on the islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. Okay, so we're gonna try and sell. Oh, if we hit square, it's just sell all fish? Oh. Oh, if we hold square, it's sell all fish. Okay. So now just return to town, I'm guessing? The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? A research part. A curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing you build upgrades to your boat and stuff like that, I'm assuming. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay, so let's head on up to the shipwright. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ooh, trophy! You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. So your boat's going to have durability and all that kind of stuff. This is kind of neat. Alright, weighted line. 150 bucks? Dang. Okay, repair all the ship. I'm broke right now, so... So you can buy different engines. You can get nets, lights for your thing. Simple skimmer and weighted line. How do I get... Oh, R3... R3 and L3 switch between the two inventories. So, like, I just have a basic fishing pole. Pretty much trash. 
Fishing speed, 35%. Install time, 2 hours. Fishing speed, 40%. 3 hour. Like, see, that'd be worth. But, enter repair mode as R2. Repair mode active. Fix, damage, and restore durability. I don't have anything that I need to repair, so... We're good. Uh, let's go to research. Use parts to research new equipment. Researched equipment will appear for sale. Oh, okay. So this, like, to research a hydraulic rod or a flexible fishing pole. Uses one research part. Let's go with... A flexible fishing pole. Spend one research part. Oh, so it takes two? How do you know how many it takes? When I did that, it like got another cogwheel underneath it. Interesting. Oh, the cogwheel's underneath shells. So if I would have done the hydraulic rod, it would have been done already. There's also engines, pots. Oh, pots and nets aren't unlocked yet. Okay. So you can hit circle to undock. It's nighttime though, don't I want- didn't they tell me to sleep at night? Is there a way- Select your lights by holding L1, then toggle them with square. Uh, okay, I don't think it's dark enough. Oh, I see. The little fishy poo. Little fishy poo right here. Okay, so sometimes the bar is different. It's not always the same. That's kind of interesting. So it's like super late at night now. Like, I feel like. Okay, let's go back. Exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Can I sleep on my boat? No. Okay, maybe we can just sleep then. We can just sell these fish. How do you sleep? Oh, there we go. Right here, there's research, rest, and undock. Let's go to rest. Resting until dawn. And it's a new day. So we're going to head back out. I think we just basically want to keep fishing until we pay off our loan. So we might as well fill up our uh, boat today. This spot has already been depleted. That didn't last long. What is this? Inspect. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazard. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. Shell, you don't have the right equipment for this spot. Oh, okay. So you need to have certain equipment to fish in certain places? What about this spot? Nope. Shallow. So I don't have shallow... Wait. Uh, boat. What is my rod good for? Coastal. So I'm guessing coastal is like... This blue, baby blue shit, maybe? Yeah, what's this? Inspect. Lighthouse towers above as wave crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. 
All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. He pondered the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Okay, so I think what we need to do is get another fishing rod. Because these places are too deep for us to fish. Wait, maybe this spot over here looks a little shallower? Would that be considered coastal over here? Maybe. Let's find out. Dredge. So this doesn't say fishing, this says dredge. Okay, I don't have the right equipment for dredging either. Okay, so basically we need to just get new fishing rods and equipment so that you can fish in more vary varying spaces. Which makes sense, which makes sense. But I think we're going to head into town and uh, basically call that our first look at Dredge. Very interesting game, I like it. I can't wait to play it more. I'm going to definitely check it out more. Fishing's awesome. It's got some like timed events. It's got some selling, some upgrading, some crafting. Pretty much everything you could want. Like a crafting game mixed in with fishing. So like that's just awesome as far as I'm concerned. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff. And hopefully we'll be around. See you again for more. Thanks for watching. Peace.